can imagine what it must have been like for the Suffolks in the middle of the night being told to retreat through this terrain. These boys weren't used to the, the jungle environment around here. They didn't have any compasses, had few maps, they were split off, they were surrounded by the Japanese and they were told to make their way the best they can to the east. But at night, where is the east? Any moment they could have come across the enemy that was swarming around the hills looking for them. They were stumbling over with their equipment, trying to make their way through the undergrowth, trying to find safety, cover. They just watched their colleagues being butchered in the trenches. So dark, you couldn't see where they were going. And it's no wonder that the reports say we have missing Suffolks. Guys who have simply disappeared off the face of the earth, got wounded, crawled into the cemetery in behind the gravestones and were never seen again. And what we're hoping to do is when this place is cleared, ready for the road, that we may find some of those missing guys. And when we do find them, we understand what we're looking at and hopefully identify them. hear the sounds. Listen to the strange sounds. The Suffolk guys must have just been bemused by the whole, the whole experience being out here at night, stumbling in the dark over gravestones. Gravestones which don't even look like British gravestones. Must be quite an alien environment for them. But surprisingly, these gravestones were doing them a favour because Shimada and his tank companies Reckon he couldn't get his tanks up here to help the infantry because passing a tank over this kind of terrain, well, this is like tank traps. It's like the dragon's teeth that was used in the Atlantic War. And bearing in mind the Japanese only had very small, medium tanks, their tanks could easily get hung up on all this concrete, on all this brickwork, and get trapped. And it also meant that the Suffolks could hide and get close to a tank and perhaps use an anti-tank weapon of some description by just darting out from behind the concrete, firing off a round of a boy's anti-tank rifle and, fire, and dipping back into cover again. So, so Shimada sitting on his tanks, not wanting to come up here. He's leaving this kind of fighting to the infantry. And in a way, that helped the Suffolks because they didn't have to face the tank threat as well. But it must be still a horrific experience up here at night, trying to make your way blindly towards the east and where you think safety is.